Welcome to episode 46. Why hate ye so? Please turn on closed caption to follow what I'm saying. You know, I was sort of bragging to some folks recently about the number of countries around the world I visited. But when I said 12 were Caribbean countries, I suspected that at least one person, based on the scuffed reaction, didn't then view my total count as being that large. It was as if all 12 or more Caribbean countries I had visited should count as one. I started to try to list the countries one time and stopped. Until now. As I was composing this blog episode, I thought again about listing the countries. Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Haiti, Bahamas, Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, Saint Martin, Saint Martin, <laughs> Dominica, Dominica, Saint Lucia, Saint Vincent. I believe I visited St. Vincent, Grenada, Trinidad, Barbados, Curacao, <laughs> oh that's 16, uh, several of them were while I was on cruises and I can't remember if Bonaire was one. Okay, my critic could say Cayman Islands and Curacao. <laughs> I keep laughing because you can pronounce it Curacao. <laughs> but anyway, um, I keep. My critic could say Cayman Islands and Curacao are colonies, not countries. But what's the difference then between them and say the US Virgin Islands which are part of the US but have to be in my count. And remember, continents are nothing but extra large islands. Anyway, I've been to a lot of Caribbean countries and I hope to visit a few more like Cuba someday. I've often wondered about the condition of Haiti. That's the country where the enslaved black people led by Toussaint Louverture overthrew the white colonial rulers and defeated the army Napoleon sent to retake the island. Haiti was the first country in the Americas to declare its independence from Europe which they and the United States can't forget or forgive or remove from the hierarchical order of countries becoming independent. So, is it fate or white people? <laughs> but seriously, the vast majority of it is black people, many of whom are of pure African ancestry, live in abject poverty. And it's those people who have suffered the most as the country has been struck by one calamity after another or in combination. Despotic foreign supported rulers, AIDS, hurricanes, earthquakes, it's like the country and its people can't catch a break. Lack of societal structure and the corruption in the country are seemingly fostered to benefit a privileged 
upper class group and foreigners and have led to shoddy infrastructure and no social safety net. The result is, for example, that earth tremors or heavy rain that barely affect neighboring countries create national disasters in Haiti. So, we have a country full of industrious and inventive people who feel they have to escape to some place else if they want any sort of life. Man's in humanity to man. Turmoil, conflict. Ah, but it does make you wonder why Haiti so.